Hello and welcome to this NDTV special with the very versatile, talented Delhi boy turned honorary Kolkatan Gautam Gambhir. Thanks very much, Dean Gautam, for joining us. Pleasure. And many, many congratulations on that win. Thank you very much. Now, Delhiites know how to party, but Kolkata seems to take it to another level. No, I think Delhiites <laughs> knows how to party, but Kolkata people know how to celebrate. I think that's the only difference. The way they had celebrated, I think, was tremendous. We never expected that this people were going to come in so many numbers on the streets. So. You know, uh, when you said that you learned from all the ups and downs you had, and uh, one of the big uh, downs was 2007 when you got dropped for the World Cup, and you've spoken about how you almost thought about giving up cricket. Uh, what was the what was the lesson from there? Because that was probably was that like one of your lowest points. Although I still, uh, I can say that, that I deserved every bit of it being part of that 2007 World Cup squad. And after that, you I would, believe that? Absolutely, even now I believe it, that I should have been part of that team. Though it was the lowest, more, lowest phase of my life, but sometimes lack of, I think, I was not someone who had too many opportunities or too many other things to do. My, I think the only thing which was there, my, uh, which I could have done was to play cricket because sometimes I think it's a blessing. But you would reach that point where you were actually thinking, could yeah, this be it? Maybe I need to look for other options. Yeah, because when things are not going your way, when any any cricketer, if you ask any of the cricketers, he wants to go on to play for a, a World Cup for his country. That's the biggest honour. And suddenly, if you, you're you playing consistently for your country and suddenly you don't get picked for the World Cup squad, obviously it's very heartbreaking. But I think I, I, at one stage I decided that I'm not going to play this game anymore because I'm done and dusted. But later on I decided, like, what else can I do? I don't have too many things to do because I'm not good at any other things. And if this I is, this is your main skill, this is this what is you this is what are good at. Yeah, this is the only thing which I'm good at. I'm not good in studies. I'm not good at any other thing, <laughs> to be honest. So sometimes uh, it was a blessing in disguise. Then then I realized that if I lose, if I leave cricket now, I think I would never be able to see myself in the mirror because I don't want to be called as a chicken who just ran away from not being get, not getting selected. So that was the time where I had to. Pull my pull myself up and have you to. You started playing domestic cricket. And I said that look, whatever happens, whether I get get to play for India ever again or not, the only thing that will give me happiness to keep scoring runs. Whatever level I play, whether I play for my club, whether I play for for Delhi or whoever team which I, I play for, I need to keep scoring runs. You're just going to give hundred percent. I think you first started with Devdar Trophy and then you. Went back to Ranji after that, and then you kind of yeah I played worked under, your way I, back I, I played under 14s, under 16s, under 19s. I've gone through, I've come through the ranks. So sometimes when things are not going your way, you got to go back to the basics. So ultimately, for any cricketer, if you or for any batsman, you ask him, the biggest happiness or the maximum happiness he gets is when he scores runs. So I decided that look, forget about what level I play cricket for, whether I play for club, club, whether I play for Delhi or whichever team I play for. The only happiness which I'm going to get is by scoring runs. So I just need to keep scoring runs wherever I play for. So I made my goals very simple. I said that, and I made my goals very clear as well. I just want to go out there and score runs for the team, whichever I play for. And and what a fantastic comeback it was. But tell me, did that whole experience make you insecure at all? Yeah, I'm still very insecure. You I'm are? a very, very insecure guy when it comes to my profession. Really? And my insecurities are far more than my securities. Even now, to be honest... Why is that? That's how I've been, I think, that's how I've been... Uh, to. That's how I've played my cricket and uh, since under 14, I think uh, everyone has always told me that if you don't score runs in this game, you will be dropped. That is what I've heard since the time I was growing up as a kid, that every game was, was the last game for me. So whenever, if I, if I don't, even at this stage, if I don't score runs in two or three games, I, I start getting that feeling that I'm going to get dropped. Really? Yeah. That, is this, isn't this just pressure you're putting on because yourself? Because that, that has gone so much deep inside my system that I've started living with it. I, even if I try taking it out of my system, I'm just not able to because since 14 years, it's been nearly 16 years, I've kept it inside my system. I've tried it many a times and it has. there has been so many experiences in the past mm. where people have come up to me and said that this could be the last game you, you got to really? be. Really? Yeah. This if is you, even after you're playing international even cricket after for I, India? Yeah, absolutely. Even after I've played international cricket for is India. Is it possible to ask you, what kind of people are these people within the cricketing establishment or just... No, to be honest, there has been people, uh, someone like in 2007, I still remember that uh, when I got dropped for the World Cup squad. There was a game in Chennai, and someone said that if I don't score runs, this, if I don't score runs in this game, I will not be the part of the 2007 World Cup squad. And I, I didn't get runs in that game, and I wasn't part of the 2007 World Cup squad. So these are the experiences which has gone so deep inside my system that it's very difficult to take it out. That's why I say I think my wow. insecurities are far bigger than my securities. <laughs> Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. 
download it indytvprofit.com/apps get the best app from the channel you trust